and King Pelinor is out in front. And at this stage, holding Pepperoni Peters, they make the run to the final flight. King Pelinor and Mark Walsh going to rise about four in front over the last and clear from Pepperoni Pete. Tham Luang's running on on the outside with Sullahead Beg and Swell Time also finishing well, but King Pelinor is home by a wide margin here. Gets off the mark over hurdles from Smell Swell Time through for second, then Tham Luang, Sullahead Beg and Pepperoni Pete. And King Pelinor is out in front, and at this stage, holding Pepperoni Pete as they make the run to the final flight. King Pelinor and Mark Walsh going to rise about four in front over the last and clear from Pepperoni Pete. Tham Luang's running on on the outside with Sullahead Beg and Swell Time also finishing well, but King Pelinor is home by a wide margin here. Gets off the mark over hurdles from Smelt. Swell Time through for second, then Tham Luang, Sullahead Beg and Pepperoni Pete. They're on the run to the final flight as Petit Mouchoir with Aramon now looming up on the outside to deliver a challenge. Evernock Fizz back in third. Aramon takes over at the final flight from Petit Mouchoir and Aramon producing a fine turn of foot here. Grade one winner in the past is going to defy top weight in the Grimes hurdle. Aramon and Paul Tennen win from Petit Mouchoir. Wonderlace a big run in third and so too back in fourth. Evernock Fizz. They're on the run to the final flight as Petit Mouchoir with Aramon now looming up on the outside to deliver a challenge. Evernock Fizz back in third. Aramon takes over at the final flight from Petit Mouchoir and Aramon producing a fine turn of foot here. Grade one winner in the past is going to defy top weight in the Grimes hurdle. Aramon and Paul Tennant win from Petit Mouchoir. Wonderlace a big run in third and so too back in fourth. Evernock Fizz. Here's Shanro now on the outside with the rider looking confident. They're followed by Rochdale House. Lucky Phil is also finishing off well on the run to the final flight. Shanro the leader, pressed on the outside by Lucky Phil. Not much in it there. Knock on steel, battling away on the inner. It's Shanro from Lucky Phil as they race well inside the final furlong. Shanro's finding plenty though. Winner on the flat last time. Strikes over hurdles today. Shanro from Lucky Phil, followed in by Knock on steel and the longtime leader, Accidental Rebel. Here's Shanro now on the outside with the rider looking confident. They're followed by Rochdale House. Lucky Phil is also finishing off well on the run to the final flight. Shanro the leader, pressed on the outside by Lucky Phil. Not much in it there. Knock on steel, battling away on the inner. It's Shanro from Lucky Phil as they race well inside the final furlong. Shanro's finding plenty though. Winner on the flat last time. Strikes over hurdles today. Shanro from Lucky Phil, followed in by Knock on Steel and the long time leader, Accidental Rebel. They've gone on from utmost faith. He's got no more to give than Galapon Grey in annual flavour. They're coming down to the 13th and final flight. And it's Desert Island from Sky Ace under a confident Jody McGarvey. They land virtually together, but Sky Ace has now got to the front from Desert Island and running up towards the finish. Sky Ace is quickening away nicely to win well from in second position, Desert Island. They were a long way clear of Galapon Grey and utmost faith kept on for fourth. They've gone on from utmost faith, who's got no more to give than Galapon Grey in annual flavour. They're coming down to the 13th and final flight, and it's Desert Island from Sky Ace under a confident Jody McGarvey. They land virtually together, but Sky Ace has now got to the front from Desert Island and running up towards the finish. Sky Ace is quickening away nicely to win well from in second position, Desert Island. They were a long way clear of Galapon Grey, and utmost faith kept on for fourth. Plenty of chances. Launching thanks against the stand side rail that was in front. And just asserting now, taking two legs out of them. With Tango's gone second, then Mary of the Sorrows running on Shannon Fields and then Galaxy Girl. But at the last, it's Launch and Thanks who puts in a good leap there, and that should seal it. Launch and Thanks out clear and going on by a good six lengths now from Witango in second and up towards the finish. Launch and Thanks and Brian Hayes win it from Witango. Just third, Shannon Fields ahead of Galaxy Girl and Mary of the Sorrows. Plenty of mid chances. Launch and thanks against the stand side rail that was in front. And just asserting now, taking two legs out of them. With Tango's gone second, then Mary of the Sorrows running on Shannon Fields and then Galaxy Girl. But at the last, it's Launch and Thanks who puts in a good leap there, and that should seal it. Launch and Thanks out clear and going on by a good six lengths now from Witango in second and up towards the finish. Launch and Thanks and Brian Hayes win it from Witango. Just third, Shannon Fields ahead of Galaxy Girl and Mary of the Sorrows. Thank you. 
And then ruler of Dubai is the long-time leader. I'm on snap, finally beats a retreat. They're on the run to the final flight. It's Elegant Dan who's out in front and clear now. Lord Lariat is making up some good late headway and is now within three lengths over the last Elegant Dan. Lord Lariat is closing rapidly though as they come inside the final furlong. And Lord Lariat has timed it to perfection here. Donna Myler will complete a double for trainer Carl Thornton. Lord Lariat wins it from Elegant Dan, ruler of Dubai, and they were followed in fourth position, possibly just, just call me. And then ruler of Dubai is the long-time leader. I'm on snap, finally beats a retreat. They're on the run to the final flight. It's Elegant Dan who's out in front and clear now. Lord Lariat is making up some good late headway and is now within three lengths over the last Elegant Dan. Lord Lariat is closing rapidly though as they come inside the final furlong. And Lord Lariat has timed it to perfection here. Donna Myler will complete a double for trainer Carl Thornton. Lord Lariat wins it from Elegant Dan, ruler of Dubai. And they were followed in fourth position, possibly just... Red cap is Lebowski. Over on the far side, Brimfield's Jeremy, and they've gone on from Curlew Hill, who's made good headway from the back, followed by Brooklyn Balance. But it's Hallowed Star, who's given the office by Shane Fenlon now, and the response is impressive. He's quickening well clear of his rivals here, and on the run-up towards the finish, it's going to be a good day for trainer Shark Hanlon. Hallowed Star wins this in tremendous style from Lebowski in second. Brimfield's Jeremy third, then Curlew Hill, and Brooklyn Balance. Red cap is Lebowski. Over on the far side, Brimfield's Jeremy, and they've gone on from Curlew Hill, who's made good headway from the back, followed by Brooklyn Balance. But it's Hallowed Star is given the office by Shane Fenlon now, and the response is impressive. He's quickening well clear of his rivals here, and on the run-up towards the finish, it's going to be a good day for trainer Shark Hanlon. Hallowed Star wins this in tremendous style from Lebowski in second. Brimfield's Jeremy third, then Curlew Hill, and Brooklyn Balance.